Hey, so I want to start off by apologizing for yesterday. I know I filmed practically nothing. I still was not feeling sick. I think I have some sort of like a stomach bug or something, but um, I'm feeling better today. But yeah, all I did yesterday was like I got home from school, I did some homework, I ate dinner, I went to Scott's house. All we did was lay down and like watch TV because I didn't feel good. And then I came home and went to bed. <laughs> so I like did nothing. So I won't. I, I didn't want to film that. <laughs> this is boring. So uh, that was my yesterday. Today is going to school. So today is Tuesday. So I have world, civiliza world civilizations and math, algebra. And then I have um, English. And then after that, I don't think. I'm thinking I'm just going to work on homework and whatnot. Um. Oh, something that I did do yesterday was that I worked out my entire schedule for the next um, couple semesters at school because I'm currently going to a community college, and I know community college gets, like, a bad rep, but it's not bad. I'm getting my associate's degree in two years, and then after that, I will transfer to another college to get my bachelor's degree, and then transfer to another college to get my master's. So, and it's, like, practically free to get an associate's degree. So why not take that chance it's for someone like me who isn't, you know, swimming in gold coins. So, uh, yeah, so that was, that was good. So I organized a bunch and stuff. And, um, yeah, uh, the new all-time low CD came out today. As you can see, repping my, my all-time low. I'll show you my, my outfit for today. I got my all-time low tee, and then just my black cardigan from American Eagle, which is like the comfiest cardigan ever, and then my purple skinny jeans, and then no shoes right now, but I think I'm just going to wear um, uh, just some, like, I think I'm going to wear my combat boots. So that'll be fun. Um, and then that's, uh, that's all that's going on, really, right now. I'm going to eat some breakfast, cooking up some more fish, and then uh, then I'll be off to school. So I'll show you my dog. She looks so cute right now. She's all sleepy. Yeah. She is a Jack Russell Schnauzer mix. She's sleeping, so I won't disturb her. But she's adorable. And her name is Pepper because she has white on her face. She's not, like, super old, so she's not, like, graying or anything. I mean, I think part of it's starting to gray, but she's not, like, super old. She was just always kind of, like, with the little, the little grays on her face and on her paws. Oh, sorry. Oh, big stretch. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did I wake you up a little bit? So, yeah. Um, so I'll probably check in with you guys later and have a good day. Oh, ah, ah. shh. Someone's a little awake now and excited. You wanna go outside? <laughs> yeah? Okay. Outside? Outside? Yeah? Alright, let me put your leash on. Yeah. Body time. Oh, here comes Mitchell. Off the bus. Yeah. There is. Come on. Hey. How was school? Good. Yeah. It was a good day. Mm -hmm. What did you do today? Nothing. Did you learn anything exciting? No. No? Well, okay. Pepper's not very excited to see you. She's interested in smelling the grass right now. Alright, you want a bathroom? You want to go inside? I ended up wearing different boots today. I wore these ones. I forget who they're by. They're nice. Want to go inside? Come on, let's go inside. Mm. 
No, stop sniffing my car. Come on. Let's go inside. Because you're a good pepper. Uh -huh. Go ahead then. Come here. Wait. You know you have to wait. Guys, I have to take this off. Oh, what was that? Oh. There you go. You want a snack? Yeah? You want a snack? You want a cookie? Oh, you want a cookie? Come on. Yeah? Okay. Where are the cookies? Are they over here? Yeah? You want a cookie? Excuse me, Mr. You want a cookie? You gotta sit. Oh, you are sitting. Okay. There you go. Oh! Get it, get it. Run away! <laughs> She's so cute. She's very lively. Now that she's not so sleepy. Yeah. You good doggy. Yeah. Okay, say bye camera. Bye internet. So, pretty much what I've done since I got home was I did some homework and I cleaned and I was on Tumblr and YouTube and uh just doing stuff like that and just kind of like a working day just working on a bunch of stuff but I did want to talk about something actually that I'm doing my English paper on we have to do something about school like it's, this is like an essay so it's like it's not very long and it just has to be something about school like what you like about school your school experience blah 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 and I'm doing mine on something I think is is interesting is that um when you're in high school, people assume that you have to know exactly what you want to be when you grow up, and you don't. And everyone freaks out about it, and I don't know, like, it just, like, going through high school, I did not, at least freshman year especially, and sophomore year especially, I had no idea what I wanted to be. I had, like, a million different options, from, like, zoologist to like fashion designers so it was like all over the place and I had no idea what I wanted to be and then junior year came around and everyone was like alright you know that's fine you have options at least and but then junior year came around and everybody knew what they were going to do exactly to the career to the what school they were going to apply with all the colleges they were going to apply to to everything like they knew junior year of high school what they were going to do and I was like oh yeah, I have no idea what college I'm going to go to. I have no idea exactly what I want to be. I have no idea. And everybody was, like, very condescending about it. They were like, you you don't know what you want to be? I mean, are you even trying to prepare? And I'm like, I don't want to get myself in a rut in a job where I don't want to be for the rest of my life. So why decide now when I am only 16, 17 years old? that's ridiculous to me so I still I wasn't and like even teachers were like well maybe you should think about it and consider what your final options are gonna be and I'm like no <laughs> no so then senior year came and um, I knew what path I wanted to go on I knew I wanted to do something in English I finally decided because I really love reading and I love to write and I've written, like, you know, I love writing, like, poems and short stories and even, like, mini novels and whatnot. I love, I love to write. And, um, so I know I wanted to do something with English because that would really, really interest me. So, but that still wasn't good enough for anybody. Everybody was like, wow, like, you really don't know what you're going to do. Wow. And then I told everyone, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go to the local college. And everyone's like, what? like that's a really like bad decision no it is not <laughs> it is a cheap decision to get my associate's degree and go in the path of what I want to do and by the end of senior year like not long before I graduated high school I decided that I wanted to teach English and I'm still not entirely sure if I want to teach high school or college level English or anything like that I'm not still not entirely sure but then again I'm only a freshman in college so I think it's ridiculous to have to pick your career when you are so young. Like, to me, it's like, 
it is. It's like preposterous to like have to have these young people decide. And you hear about having different middle schools having selective different schools to go to based on the career that they want to do. How do you know that when you're like 12 or 11 what you want to do when you're 23? Like that's ridiculous to me. And I think that people put too much pressure and like I think that having like enough of a plan is 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 very good but I knew that I was going to go to a certain college I knew I'm going to go on a certain path and to me that's fine for right now and if I want to change my mind I'm allowed to change my mind and I just think people put a lot of pressure on deciding what you want to do and then a lot of people get stuck in these jobs where they don't want to be and then they're unhappy which creates unhappy relationships with people which creates miserable lives basically so if you are out there and are still in high school don't freak out just because everyone else has decided exactly what career they they want to do and you haven't yet it's fine you have years to decide um i'm in classes right now with people who are in their you know 50s coming back to school because they hate the job that they're in and i doubt that you want to do that go back to school so many years later and try to get another degree to write another job so just go slow and if you have to go back to school you know that's inevitable but if you start with something that you want to do and make sure that's something that you want to do then you won't end up like like people like that and i'm not saying those people are bad i'm just saying that i think that enough preparedness is good but be flexible you know and you don't need to make these decisions so quickly because i think a lot of i think that's a real pro problem with society in general is people make decisions too quickly and take your time you know make sure that you put yourself first before anybody else and make sure that you're putting your best interests forward so now that my little rant is done um it's getting later so i think i'm just going to um go to bed pretty soon. I think it'll be my last clip. I think I'm going to read some more of my Game of Thrones book and then uh, and then just go to bed because I'm pretty tired. And I don't know. During the week, I like to get a lot of sleep because on the weekends, I barely get any. So I like to get a lot of sleep during the week. So I'll see you all tomorrow. I hope you had a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.